down some pussy. Let me be the first to say that isn't even in the least bit true, but afterwards I realized that I am in somewhat what you would call a drought. Can you please tell me how I can shake this horrific case of desert dick? <laughs> my friends tell me to just knock down a couple of ugly ducklings to help get my mojo back, but I'm very picky when it comes to who I have sex with. Are there any other ways to get out of this drought season? Or should I just listen to my friends? Please help me get my mojo back, Carter. <laughs> thank you for the email, I appreciate it. And thank you for watching my videos. Now, this is always tough for dudes who have standards, okay? You have dudes who will fuck anything, walk in, that even looks in their direction. And you have guys who really, want to take the time to get to know a chick and want her to look a certain way, has a preference on what she looks like before he actually has sex with her. Nothing is wrong with that, all right? Your friends should be ashamed that they walking around here fucking all these ugly bitches just because they wanna fuck bitches, you feel me? Nothing is wrong with you trying to go ahead and wait for the right chick to come along to have sex. You have preference, you have standards that you live by, and nothing is wrong with that. I would say to you is to definitely just put yourself out there more. If you see a girl that's attractive, go up to her and try to talk to her. All you know, shit, it might be a bitch out there who wants to just fuck. Nothing wrong with just having a fuck buddy. Nothing wrong with just using each other for sexual pleasure. Like I said, you know, just be more outgoing. And you know, if you're at the library or something, you're a college student, so I'm sure it's really some cute bitches at school. When you're at the library, you see a little cute chick going ahead and studying, you know what I mean? Go over there, start a little conversation, and try to talk to her. You going out, you in the cafeteria, you wanna pick up some food or something, you see a cute chick, go and talk to her. Just put yourself out there more, so that way you can have more options from cute chicks. Instead of you talking to all these ugly ass bitches who are thirsty, because I'm gonna tell you, I know this, all right? Me being a woman who also loves women, ugly ass chicks are always out that life. And they always so thirsty. And when I say ugly, I'm sorry if I like offend anybody, but we know what we're talking about, all right? You know when you see somebody and you just be like, that bitch ugly as shit, you know what I'm saying? He like made about two, 300 pounds, you know, walking around with some pants that is a size medium and a tight ass shirt with a belly hanging out. Bitches out there who are ugly as shit and they thirsty as hell, you know? They don't give a fuck who it is, they gonna fuck them, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yo, where the cute bitches at? That's all you need to do. Put yourself out there, have some fun. But yeah, don't listen to your friends about them ugly bitches, all right? Don't listen to them. These are bitches that don't wipe good. These type of bitches who probably wearing the same drawers three days in a row. Do not listen to your friends, okay? Your friend, one of your friends might be burning for messing with them ugly assholes. Go ahead, keep doing what you're doing. Just approach more cute bitches. And that's it. That's my advice. If y'all have any advice for Carter, go ahead and comment down below in the comment section. If you guys want for me to promote your YouTube or your music, go ahead and email me at yourgirlbubbles at gmail.com for rates, because I am looking to feature more people in my videos. So yeah, go ahead and email me. If you want any advice on sex or relationships, email me at yourgirlbubbles at gmail.com. Want to follow me on Twitter? My Twitter is yourgirlbubbles87. But yeah, go ahead and comment like, share the shit, and subscribe. And yeah. <laughs> Bumps. Out. <laughs>